Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the vlog. It is Saturday afternoon. We're at Roxham, just outside Roxham Sailing Club, and I'm going to make red wine and onion gravy. Very posh, but very delicious. Easy thing to make, but absolutely delicious. In this pan here, I have got about three dessert spoons of vegetable oil and I have got a large nub of butter which I am letting come just letting it all soften down this pot here has got nothing in it at the moment but it's about to have about half a bottle of this red wine in it In fact, three quarters of a bottle. I shall keep a glass myself and a bit of a Keith Floyd. Now I'm going to bring the wine to the boil. <coughs> and I'm going to simmer it. And I'm going to reduce it down, down, down and down. To the, uh, about two thirds. of. I'll take about two thirds of that away. To end up with a lovely thick, gloopy consistency. In this pan, in this bowl here. I've got a mixture of red, white onions, so about three onions in total, and I've got one clove of garlic. If you don't like garlic, Margin Patch, you know the story. In Balamori, don't put it in. Okay? So what do I tell you people every week when I say we're frying onions? You must use some salt to bring out the flavour and the juices of the onions. So in here, I have got about three quarters of a teaspoonful of salt and the same of pepper. Okay? And that is it. You'll see these onions are all chopped up definitely because I've done another vlog demonstrating all the different ways of chopping and dealing with onions and garlic and the one thing I didn't say in that vlog was that regarding spring onions the green part of the spring onion which people often throw away don't throw that away, it's full of flavour that's where all the flavour is as long as it's nice and fresh Use the biggest majority of that green as long as it's fresh. It's delicious. Right, so. We saute these onions off. Until they're sort of fairly well cooked. Now I'm not going to put you through the pain of all that. I, because it's going to probably take, I don't know, with this, the heat of this pan. Probably 20 minutes or so. And I'm also going to be reducing this wine by two thirds, okay? So I'm gonna allow all that to happen. Now in here I've got uh, about a pint of beef stock, okay, which we'll come back to later on. But that's just, all that is is oxos. You could use any kind of beef stock. You could make your own. I didn't make my own. I don't cook a lot of beef, to be honest with you. Living on my own, it's something I don't eat an awful lot of is beef. I have the odd steak now and again, but I, I tend to live off fish and chicken and um, I eat quite a lot of vegetarian stuff through the week to be honest with you so there you go so I'm just going to cook this away let all this break down and I shall come back to you a little bit later on and I'll show you it all coming together the red wine and onion gravy delicious with all sorts of things now you could do a vegetarian version of this, exactly what I'm doing, but instead of using instead of using beef, you could use a yeast extract and do exactly the same and you would end up with a vegetarian red wine and onion gravy. So don't say I don't think about vegetarians because I do. If you are using a yeast extract vegetarian people, be aware of how much salt you're putting in the onions because yeast extract can often be quite salty. 
So just be aware of that. That's one thing I would certainly be aware of. I have made it myself when I've cooked for vegetarians and it's delicious. No, you know, really no different to this, really. But uh, as none of us are vegetarians, we're having, uh, we're having the meat version. So, okay, people, I'm going to leave it there. If you have been, thanks for watching. And we will be back as soon as this is done and we'll show you how this all comes together. So we'll see you when we get back. So okay people, we're back after about 10 minutes and there's how the onions look now. Okay? Just how an onion would look if you wanted a nice fried onion for a own sausage or whatever. You know, it's just beautiful fried onions. But what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to add some of this beef stock. Okay? I should just give it a little stir. I'm going to put it all in to start with. I'm basically going to cover these onions. I'll judge it myself. I kind of know. Do you know what? I'm going to put the whole lot in. So that was about a pint. Now I'm now going to let that come to the boil. And I'm just going to let it reduce down the same as the wine which is sitting here now boiling away and that's good to reduce right down and I'm going to reduce this right down and really cook these onions very 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 soft so once again I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to come back when we're at the next stage okay so I'll see you when we come back so people the wine has now as you can see reduced down to very little of it being left and what I've done is I just stuck a lid on this after about 10 minutes so I didn't want to over reduce them that was a boat just went by and nearly knocked us right onto the bank how it can do that when we're nearly 9 ton is uh, unbelievable so I'm going to take that lid off of there now and this wine I'm just going to pour straight in there Okay, now, that, believe it or not, doesn't really need to cook much longer. And what I am going to do now, I'm just going to let that come back down. These onions are so soft now. Now, to be honest with you, I'm in two minds whether to pass this through a sieve. <coughs> I've got two choices. If I was doing this and it was for a dinner party and I wanted it to be, you know, really, everything to look really pucker on the plate, I would probably now get this, strain it back into this pot and then all the leftover onion in the sieve, I would put it all through with the back of the spoon, which I'm sure you've seen me do in other videos, a bit like making an ordinary gravy when you do stuff in the oven, but I'm in two minds, I'm in two minds whether to do that. Do you know what, I'm going to do it because you people haven't seen it, I don't think. <coughs> so you get a nice sieve, like this. Get your pan, like this. And pass the whole lot. through the sieve I'm going to make sure I get all the onions out of here waste not, want not <coughs> and as regular viewers of this channel know we waste nothing so right now what you do is simply with the back of your spoon is basically just keep pressing You have to work at it. Splash me in the face there. This is going to take quite a bit of time. Probably going to take me five minutes or so, but you can see how much it's gone down already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break and I'll come back when I've finished and show you the final, the final gravy. 
The one thing I will say about red wine that I've used. <coughs> when you're using wine to cook, don't use wine that you wouldn't drink. If you wouldn't drink it, don't use it to cook. If it ain't any good to drink, it's any good to cook with. Always remember that. So I'll see you when I get back. So hello people. It's been about 10 minutes and you can see all that's left. And you know what? I'm going to give up because really and truthfully, that really is enough. Make sure you get all this off. This is what helps to helps to thicken the the beautiful red wine onion gravy. And that is enough. And I hope there's enough light in there that people can see. That's beautiful. Beautiful sauce. Can you see that alright Steve? Yeah. And do you know what? I'm just gonna get a I'm gonna get a spoon and I'm just gonna have a little taste. Oh my god, that's intense. That is intense. But it's absolutely delicious. So there you go people. That is red wine and onion gravy. So that's it for today, that's this vlog. As per usual, you know all the routine. Down below, you'll find all the links to the forums, Instagram, Facebook, everything else where you can follow us. Um, thanks to all the subscribers, which I think I, think I said before. And uh, to all the people out there that have asked me to do things, please, please, please don't think I'm not going to get to them. I am going to get to them. I know I keep saying it, but I definitely will. I've just had so many requests. But keep them coming. You'll eventually see it. When your turn comes round, it'll come up. Obviously, some of these might come up before somebody else's, but it's just the way things work. But whatever I've been asked to do, I'll definitely do. So anyway, you know the routine. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you fancy. But again, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye-bye for now.